Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is a top 10. Hey, today we're gonna look at the top 10 decks for cardistry. You know what, a lot of people have been asking for this and I always get questions about, you know, what are the best decks for cardistry? And, you know, I've been wanting to make this video for you, so this is it, uh, but, it's gonna be extra special. Extra special because you know what? Going through all my decks, I couldn't just find 10. I couldn't just find 10 to give you. So I've got 10 decks of cards for you, my top 10, and I've got three honorable mentions. Three honorable mentions, so you're gonna get 13 decks. 13 decks of cards, all right? So let's get into my three honorable mentions. Let's go. Coming in at number three, the Vanda Violet deck. Now, Vanda is the only rotationally symmetric deck of playing cards ever designed. Every single card looks exactly the same right side up as it does upside down. This beautiful back design, these awesome faces, all color symmetrical makes this great for cardistry. My number two honorable mention, Big Boy. Big Boy is a fully custom deck of playing cards designed and developed from the ground up by artist Tomas Pinston. The court cards feature 13 fun and unique Big Boy characters, all comprised of primitive shapes. And my number one honorable mention, the Encarted deck. This is the first edition of the Encarted Standard deck, and it features a metallic blue back and a 70s vintage inspired top loading tuck box with silver foil embossing, all brought to you by the expert playing card company. Uh, the standards feature these perfect borders, smooth edges, amazing handling, and yeah, this is an awesome, awesome deck. All right, so here comes my top 10. These are my top 10 decks for cardistry. Let's get into it. Number 10, Fontaine. Uh, if you do cardistry, you know this name, Zach Mueller. Uh, way back in 2013, just for fun, uh, he made a deck of cards that had this kind of old school feel that was similar to like Jerry's Nuggets and Wins. He ordered a prototype deck, he put it out on Instagram, and all of a sudden, more and more people kept asking how they could buy it. So he started using this deck, this prototype deck, in a lot of his YouTube videos, and it just made the hype even more. And really, uh, that's how Fontaine started, and it's continued to be this ultra hype deck. Number nine, the Mondrian. Uh, the Mondrian playing cards are inspired by the work of Dutch artist Piet Mondrian. Uh, Mondrian playing cards pay tribute to his uh, grid-based paintings that he made while he was in Paris during the 1920s. These cards are designed by Tomas Pinston and produced by Got Magic. They were made from the United States Playing Card Company and they are a limited run of 5,000 cards. Number eight, the Frostbite playing cards. Uh, Frostbites pair a chill, geometric, abstract back design with custom minimalist faces. The blue and white colorway features triangular shapes and a simplified compass rose design on the back. And on the front, you're gonna find striped pips and geometric court cards. Number seven, the Metropole Lux. Uh, this was a follow-up to the first deck that Lux put out in 2013, but it featured the same bold minimalistic design as the Knox series. Uh, it's only got a white background. The tuck case features a bunch of different upgrade design elements, and the Lux series was all printed from the Legends Playing Card Company. This is one of those decks that I think a lot of cardists miss, and I think uh, it's gonna make a comeback, it's gonna make a resurgence. So if you see these cards out there, I would get them. Number six, the Cherry Casino deck. Uh, this was based off of the vintage Las Vegas casino playing cards. So it pays tribute to all the classics of Sin City, like Jerry's Nuggets and Wins. The Cherry's back design is simple, symmetrical back, perfect for card games and magic performances, and it was conceived by Sam Devins and illustrated by Frankie Morales. The Cherry playing cards are actually in their third version, and every single time they do it, they get a little bit better. But these cards handle just as well as they are beautiful. Number five, the Knock playing cards for the Blue Crown and House of Playing Cards. You know what, to me, it doesn't matter if you get any color, you get the sideways tuck, the stand-up tuck, if you get the, the cards that were printed from Bicycle or, or anybody else, any of these Knock decks are perfect for playing poker, doing magic tricks, and especially flourishing and cardistry. The knocks come in tons of vibrant colors that can match any mood, any wardrobe, and any style. I say, collect them all. Number four, the cardistry deck from Bacopo. 
You know, a deck can't be too splashy or too simple. It has to be a good combination uh, of the two. It has to grab your attention and then also have a high capability uh, that meets the needs of Cardus. And I think this deck does all of those in spades. The Cardistry deck from Bacopo is built for Cardistry. If you don't have it, get it. Number three, the Mako deck from Gemini. Mako is the first cardistry deck produced by Gemini Playing Cards, and it features a pleasing black back design specifically for the cardist in mind. Mako is housed inside unique black, gray, orange colorway tuck case, and this is definitely a change from the standard black and white tucks you see. Uh, Mako is the best handling deck Gemini has ever made, and it features the brand new B crushed stock. In addition to that, they're traditionally cut, and they're available right now from GeminiDecks.com. Number two, you knew it was coming, the Verts deck. I have have the summer 2016 deck this deck and the verts all the verts decks are specifically designed exclusively for cardistry the extremely popular virtuoso deck is back in this new 2016 version this is the boldest and most breathtaking virtuoso deck to date it features black yellow white borders with a borderless back design if you want to get one of these head on down to theverts.com and your number one deck for cardistry, the International Cardistry Open 2016 deck. This deck of cards was a conjunction between Expert Playing Card Company and Cardify. They came together to release this commemorative edition to celebrate the tournament's third year of existence. It has a bold, eye-catching design that has been meticulously designed by artist Brendan Hong, who you might remember has done Hive and done Dynasty. This ICO deck has been crafted with you in mind. This is for Cardis, this is for flourishers. It embraces the movement and beauty and motion of every single card in the deck. Uh, it's a gorgeous, gorgeous deck. I don't know why this isn't sold out. Every single cardist and flourisher needs to have this. All right, so that is my top 10, my top 13, right? My top 13 decks for cardistry, flourishing, what have you. Uh, if you see some of these that you like, definitely hit up some of those dot coms and make some purchases. Uh, you deserve it, and those people that have designed these decks, they deserve it as well. Uh, did I mention your favorite? If not, hey, tell us in the comment section below. If I miss one of your favorite cardistry decks, tell uh, everybody else what it is in the comment section. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks, bye.